Alrighty, folks, we're here at Dave's room in North Hollywood, California, and it's a beautiful day for jazz. My name is Tom Thomas, and I'll be your host this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to witness a fine trio of musicians attempt something truly extraordinary in the context of today's music industry, a live performance. <laughs> That's right, folks. There will be no auto-tune, no backing tracks, and no miming today. This is a real live recording, not a performance on an awards show. And what a great audience we have here today. They will definitely be able to prove without a doubt that this was actually recorded live. We also have our lawyer here. Say hi to the lawyer, everybody. Why don't you tell us a, your name and a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name's Ethan Crego. Uh, I live in Boston. I flew across the country to see this. Uh, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, please give your attention to Nick Campbell, Destroys, Jacob Mann, and Christian Newman as they present you live for the highest bidder.
and we're back with the first inning check-in. Wow, what a medley, such flawless transitions, and there's nothing like a reprise to get the crowd on their feet. They're even sending tips on Venmo. So, Ethan, what do you think of the show so far? It's great. Really it's enjoying. so great that you're having such a great time. And may I ask you, what do you think happens when you die? Uh, nothing.
That was so beautiful and sensitive. Nothing like a good mid-set ballad to cleanse the palate in the midst of all this shredding this band has been doing today. Apparently that song has no title yet, so today we'll be picking one lucky audience member to name this great composition. And our winner is Ethan! Thank you, thank you. Um, it's your lucky day. What do you want this song to be called? Sea Cucumber. Alrighty, this song is now called Sea Cucumber. It's been such an exciting show today. Tell me, we're in the seventh inning stretch. Who do you think is the MVP of this band? Uh, um, it, 
I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Nick. That's wonderful. Nick is certainly a fine musician. And who do you think is doing the worst? <laughs> also Nick. <laughs> Thanks for your answer. Our dunce has been selected. The lawyer, would you please bring out our dunce cap? Please place this on his head. Let's go. 
folks that was a ninth inning modal blowout they played so well we should give them an award i bet their parents are very proud of them and finally accept their career choice i think it's time we all hear from the band directly man this is such an honor i've always wanted to win the jazz gold you know um it's been said before that uh music is a competition and it is, and I'm very glad that I won with my friends. Uh, this means a lot to me. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, my family, my friends, um, my fellow musicians who uh, validated everything that I played tonight. And uh, um, Chelsea, this is for you. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you so much to everyone involved. Uh, thank you to Tom Thomas. Thank you to our great audience. Uh, but I'd like to especially thank my lawyer for what's about to happen next. Uh, lawyer, you can take it from here. Nicholas, Christian, Jacob, congratulations on the Jazz Gold. Your family will be very proud of you. Nicholas and Christian, uh, I'm sure you're aware that the last composition was obviously derivative of Lord Farquaad, a composition by Jacob Mann. So on Jacob Mann's behalf, you hereby serve with a complaint for violation of copyright under the U.S. Code. You have 30 days to file an answer in federal court. I suggest you contact your counsel today. Woo! Well, I guess the spirit of the music industry is alive and well in this band. That does it for our show today. Thanks again, folks. I'm Tom Thomas, and this has been Live for the Highest Bidder.